Hi, I'm Cider Spider, and I'm on a journey to get every available achievement in Final Fantasy XIV. This monumental grind takes countless hours of gameplay over the span of several years, and I'm taking it on one week at a time. So, let's get started. All right, everybody, the time has finally come to talk about crafting. Now, in this game, there are a lot of different crafting grinds, many of which are completely unrelated to each other. So today, we're just going to focus on some of the very basics. Right now, what I'm working on are bulk crafting achievements. At the moment, I'm playing Alchemist. I'm trying to synthesize 750 times for level 21 to 30 alchemy recipes, which is one of the many steps, as you can see here, for the luminary tool. So for every crafting job, there are these multi-step achievements. Craft X amount of times for a certain level range, leading all the way up to 50. If you do all of them, you then get this 30-point achievement and a luminary tool. Now, the first couple tiers of these are pretty easy to get 50 times 300 times and then eventually 750 times but then it scales up to 1500 and then 3000 those take a little bit longer and again you have to do this for every single crafting job and as you can see i've already got a lot of progress on them so these are crafting achievements at their most basic craft a lot of things get a lot of achievement points and uh you might be wondering well how long does all of that take so i actually did a little bit of math i measured this and if you're using auto craft like i am right now to do bulk stacks of 99 of an object you get about one object every 3.2 seconds or so it's a, it's a little bit less than 3.2 seconds and so all totaled combining all of these arr achievements together you're gonna have to craft 5600 times and so completing all of these steps will take you a total of five hours per job and of course for your troubles you'll get a total of 60 achievement points which isn't actually that bad five hours is like you know it's an afternoon but there are a few steps after that. You don't get any fancy tools for it, but there are additional steps to craft a thousand times for every expansion that came out after ARR. And these are, of course, 10 achievement points each. That's another 4,000 crafts per job for another 40 achievement points, which brings the total up to 100 per job if you do all of these bulk crafting achievements. And of course, the 4,000 crafts will take you about three and a half hours if you're auto crafting them. So adding the two grinds together and then rounding up half an hour, it's going to be about nine hours per crafting job. Since there are eight crafting jobs, it's going to be about 72 hours of total crafting. So that's three days of just crafting. But this is actually one of the easier grinds in the game because as you can see, I could fully AFK this. All I have to do is use quick synthesis every five minutes to get it started. And so it's not so bad. But the important thing to remember is that it takes 72 hours to craft all of these items, assuming you already have the materials to craft them with. If you go and gather them yourself, it's going to take significantly longer to do that. On the bright side, you can overlap them because there are also gathering grinds of the same type. So, for example, logging 2,000 times in level 31 to 40 trees in Linosia. And there's a, a set of these achievements for each zone in ARR. There's uh, all these logging the hours, Linosia achievements. There are the ones for Gradania. There are the ones for Old Da. And that gives you the, uh, the luminary gathering tools. And so, if you're savvy, you can plan it out so that getting the gathering achievements gives you the materials you need in order to get the crafting achievements. I actually did that with uh, Blacksmith and Armorer, as well as Goldsmith, all of which I already have the luminary tools for. But but if you're lazy or inefficient like I am, you can also buy the materials off of the market board in order to not have to spend time gathering or thinking about what you need to gather. However, buying the materials to make 5,000 random items from ARR is generally going to cost you a few million gil, and for 8 jobs that's going to add up. But there is another silver lining, which is if you look at the market ahead of time, you can plan out which items you're going to craft and make sure that it's something that actually has a market, and generally you can sell it back, sometimes even for a profit. The most annoying part about this grind is that since you're crafting so many objects, you want to be looking for something that's stackable in your inventory, because otherwise inventory space is going to be a constant problem. It's really annoying. Fortunately, though, that is basically the worst of the issues. Otherwise, it's not a half bad grind at all. So that's what we're going to start out today doing. I'm not going to be cleaning up all of these luminary tool achievements today because because unfortunately I don't have enough time left in the week and it takes five hours per job. But I think I can probably finish Alchemist today. So let's go ahead and get our Alembic of the luminary. This, my friends, is peak video watching content. Oh man, how do I not have any water shards? 
Welp, here comes the pain. Good thing I made all that money in Bosnia, otherwise this would really suck. Well, anyway, only like 500 more of these to go, so I'll see you soon. Just a few minutes later, here is, uh... Eventually, wait for it. Maybe this is the one, I don't know. Uh, well, this is awkward. Huh? Ah, Really? How did I... How did I miscalculate? By one. Okay, this time for realsies. Then there it is, mixing it up, Apprentice. Five points for synthesizing 750 times for level 21 to 30 alchemy recipes. Woo, uh, which means next on the agenda is uh, this guy here. 3,000 syntheses for 41 to 50 alchemy. Now this one's gonna suck. The thing is, how bad the achievement is depends on how annoying the recipes are. And for 41 to 50, most of the jobs have pretty annoying recipes. And as a result, almost none of these can be uh, made at a profit. It's generally gonna be a loss. Especially when you factor in the cost of shards, this is really gonna suck. But I happen to have on my person over 3,000 raw garnet that I collected while doing one of the, uh, the mining achievements. Which means I have a, a good head start on the ingredients needed for these fire ward high potions. Except if I buy the shards, it's gonna cost me about a grand. Oh god. Per stack? Which would be three mil for the whole achievement. There's no way. We need to find an alternative. All right, it looks like it's gonna have to be Growth Formula Delta. Two of the ingredients can be bought from NPC shops for almost nothing. The third ingredient is this Trillium Bulb, which is relatively cheap. And it only requires three crystals, which I happen to have a max stack of. This is part of the nightmare that is crafting. Yeah, and the, uh, the Trillium Bulb in question is a timed node, which means it's not even very easy to farm. I'm just gonna have to hope that there's enough available on the market right now for me to get all the ones that I need. Fortunately, they seem pretty cheap, so there probably will be enough. I think I'll buy everything under 200 gil. I think more than that is a no thanks from me. I need 3,000 of these. So now we're gonna have to travel worlds to try and find some more of them. Usually materials are pretty cheap on crystals, so hopefully this won't be a problem. I think between the eight worlds, I can probably get as many as I need. All right, let's go ahead and buy out Zalira's market board. Oh yeah, look, they got tons of them. Anything 200 gil and under is fair game. It's still not a good deal, mind you, because if I buy them at 200 gil, that'd come out to like 600 grand. I'm probably not gonna make my money back. And if I do, it's going to take a very long time to do so. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for achievement points. And that's a sacrifice that you must be willing to make as well. So I suppose that leads us to my question for the day. What is the most money you have spent on an achievement in game? And no, I'm not talking about about PayPal legends. I mean, in-game currency, gil. I personally don't remember specific examples offhand, but I know that I have spent several mil doing crafting achievements in the past. It's probably one of my greatest expenses because I'm too lazy in most cases to gather the items myself. Okay, we almost have a thousand trillion bulbs. I might have to actually data center travel for this. That would be depressing. No, oh, man, curl has a lot, but they're expensive. All right, Balmung is my last hope. Don't let me down, Balmung. Ah, oh, crap. Well, that sucks. All right, time to try another DC. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I'd find anything good on Dynamis. <laughs> what do you mean, Modoween doesn't have any? Why not? You mean to tell me that people actually have to log in and play on a world in order for there to be things on the market board? What a scam. Bro, you guys see this place? Like, this is bad. Bros, it's, it's, it's pretty bad here on Dynamis. Oh my god, what is going on on Halicarnassus that they think a trillion bulb is worth over three grand? Ha, <laughs> is anyone buying these? Oh god, people are. Silly goobers. Wow, this is just kind of sad. Was this a waste of time? Yes, but I had to check Dynamis. I had to know. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I didn't find out whether or not I could get good prices on the Dynamis market board. The answer is, uh, nah. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure Aether is the biggest data center in terms of player count, so we're gonna try over there. Man, the prices suck here too. No, please don't do this to me, come on. I've waited minutes to travel here. Oh, God. 
well, this is certifiably not awesome. I haven't found a single world yet with good prices. Is Crystal the only DC that gathers things? Well, here's some for 200, Gil. That's not terrible. At this rate, we're gonna need a change of plans. Well, either that or I could just spend more money, but I'm cheap. I don't want to do that. You know, I generally try not to draw attention to the gold selling, you know, spam bots in every single Limsa Limsa. But I'm curious about their their sales pitch because it says, it says buy FF14 Gil cheapest. 100% handwork guaranteed. I don't think the people buying the gold care if it's earned by hand or botted. <laughs> I, I, I don't feel like, you know, buying gill, you, you don't really think about where it's sourced from, you know what I mean? Like, the, the people that are like, hey, let's break the rules and spend real money to buy in-game currency. Do you think they care if it's ethically sourced or not? <laughs> I just feel like that's you're just wasting your efforts here. This is 100% pasture-raised organic gill. For what it's worth, I do not advocate for buying gill in this game. In fact, I have no idea why you would even do it, because it's extremely easy to make money, and there's not that much to even spend it on, except for, I guess, trillium bulbs, because I... <laughs> why? Yeah, Aether was a bust. Our last hope is primal. And those are words that you never want to have to say. No, oh, no, bros, it's not looking good. But at least some things can look good. I think we're gonna have to start paying up to 300. That's gonna be the only way I get these. The bright side is, all my shards have already been collected from, like, treasure maps. So, if it costs me 300 gil per craft, that's not the end of the world. Still more than I'd care to spend. Huh. I guess Famfrit's got new standees. There used to be the Jades here back in the day. I don't know who these are. Real OGs remember the Jades. Oh, finally, some good prices. I think I will take all of them. Shout out to Lamia and uh, Lamia Man. My Leviathan sucks. You notice on every Limsa, there's always that one cat girl that stands front and center at the entrance to the marketplace. What does one have to do to become the alpha cat girl of a world's Limsa? The top AFKer on an entire server. Like, do you, do you have to apply for that position? Is there some kind of hierarchy? Is there like a tournament bracket you have to win? Because I'm voting for this one. I don't know. Oh, wow. We found a gold mine on Ultros. Look at this. 99 gil. Alright, I still need like 700 of these. So yeah, I'll have to go back to Crystal and buy all the ones up to 300. And by now, by the time I say this in the video, it's already going to have been established. Someone in the comments, someone said it, I already know. Why don't you just use Universalis? Screw you, that's why. Because yes, Universalis can tell me the selling price of most items on most worlds. But what it can't do is show me the culture. And frankly, I just feel that makes it not worth it. Because you see, this is what Universalis doesn't have. Famrose. How could it possibly compete? How quickly can this devolve into an adventure plate video? I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, who in Limsa on Crystal has got the best adventurer plate? And why is it this lady? I'm actually kind of underwhelmed by this. I feel like the character, it's, it's better in person. No picture can contain her femroness. Okay, how about the alpha cat girl of Curl? This is a lot more innocent than I thought it was gonna be. And somehow, that's kind of better. Dance on, cat girl. Dance on. But how about princess for a day? There we go! What? Apparently Goblin's leader is a... a Midlander. I support this. I don't support these prices, though. These suck. Do you think the Queen of Goblin knows why they call it Goblin? Do you think she knows? Uh, the uh, Marlboro Lala line is looking a little bit diminutive. Is this really what it's been reduced to? Yeah, so anyway, I'll have all of your trillium bulbs. Give me them. Okay, thanks, bye. Ah oh, yes, the alpha cat girl of Marlboro. Let's see it. Ah yes, as it should be. Okay, thanks, bye. Wow, what an impressive title and, um, other things. <laughs> that is not what I expected. <laughs> uh, carry on. It seems Mateus has no queen. Or wait, is it her? No, I guess it's not. <laughs> Why did someone just DM me Gorgo Mantea? Oh, words I haven't thought about in a long time. All right, uh, we've been a little bit distracted. Let's quickly send our retainers back out on some ventures. Get out of here, idiot. Okay, bye. I'm gonna need to withdraw my water crystals. Uh, casually buy 3,000 rock salt and quicksilver. And now we can finally start the growth formula grind. Oh joy, can't wait to make 3,000 of these. 
Well, see you in two and a half hours. I'm glad we were able to enjoy procrastinating for so long, but now I have to get back to the actual crafting part. So I'm gonna go watch videos and stuff. Okay, bye. All right, time for a momentous occasion. This has been a very dull day. I said I was gonna watch videos, but I've actually been doing chores like a boss. And there we have Mixing It Up Artisan for 10 points, followed by An Alchemist's Life for Me, 30 points. That's right, we got 3,000 alchemy recipes, 41 to 50, which was our final alchemist ARR achievement for my Alembic of the Luminary. So that's a nice little bump for the day. But bulk crafting is just one aspect of what is a, a deep and perilous tab of the achievements menu. So you might be wondering, what else can we get up to? <laughs> well, all right, so we find ourselves in Mordona. Something I often forget about are the fact that there are not only combat relics in this game, there are also crafting relics. And much like the Realm Reborn combat relics, the crafting relic achievements for Realm Reborn are also extremely forgiving. You only have to get one of each. So in this case, that would be a Disciple of Hand Luchus tool. And now most relics you have to grind for quite heavily, but uh, for these Realm Reborn crafting relics, you basically just buy them from this guy. So you use the first step, which you get from doing your job quests, combined with a Mastercraft Demi Materia and a random Mastercraft item. In this case, I'm going to need a Concentrated Spirits of Salt. No, not that kind. So, first things first, the Demi Materia. All I have to do for this one is buy it with white scripts. Uh, if I can remember where to get it from. Ah yes, here it is, the Mastercraft Demi Materia. It is 800 white scripts. Incidentally, I have 4,000 on my person. Let's go ahead and buy that now. Easy. And for the other item, the Concentrated Spirits of Salt. Ah, crap. This might be a Mastercraft helm I don't have. Yeah, I guess I never got the Master Alchemist too. Well, that's annoying. Alright, send me back to Idleshire. I need the Fieldcraft Demi Materia. Yeah, that's the stuff. Now, usually for these Mastercraft recipes, you need uh, annoying items from timed gathering nodes, but the bright side is since there's virtually no demand for any ARR crafting stuff, they tend to be extremely cheap on the market board. So for this volcanic rock salt, I should be able to just buy it. Yeah, look, it costs almost nothing. <laughs> Vitriol sure is costing a lot, though, considering there's an NPC shop that sells it for 200 gil. You market board gamers can't scam me. I did my Beast Tribe quests. Uh, yeah, what do you know? 216 gil. Easy. Let's go ahead and make our Spirits of Salt and our Concentrated Spirits of Salt. And now all we do is simply turn that into Talan to get a copy of Master Alchemist 2, which should hopefully unlock the recipe that I need. But... What? Oh god, I hope it's not one of those demi material recipes. Wait a minute. Am I an idiot? Yeah, wait, this is the item this is the same item that so how come when I search for recipes to make this, it doesn't show up, even though I clearly just made it. Whatever. It's probably not a bad thing having the master recipes for Alchemist unlocked anyways. Anyways, we trade in our uh, first stage relic, and this grants me the Paracelsus Supra. Pretty cool, right? Right. But in order to get the actual achievement, I need a Luchus tool, which requires five Moonstone and five Enchanted Quicksilver. Oh, that's also an expert recipe. Okay. Now, I could go and collect all this stuff, or I could pay noobs to collect it for me on the market board. <laughs> so there's a Razix Sand, a couple of Tarantulas. These are dirt cheap. Go figure, nobody wants Tarantulas. And the Black Cinnabar is not tradable, so I need to see where that comes from. Oh, it's a Grand Company item. Well, that works out because the Moonstone is also Grand Company, so I was heading that direction anyway. So that's gonna be five Moonstones for 20,000 Grand Company seals. I happen to have plenty of those. You ever wonder why there's a Material tab and a Materials tab for Grand Company? I guess it's just convenient to not have everything in one tab, but like weapons, armor, material, materials. I just, yeah, whatever. The point is, I need two batches of black cinnabar, and I'm buying them right here, right now. Okay, and now let's craft our enchanted quick silver. Now, crafting in this game is extremely difficult, especially if you're overleveled for it. So, first things first, we're going to press a uh, trained eye, and then we're going to press basic synthesis. Okay, we're done. Now we take our five Quicksilver back to this guy. We're gonna trade him the Paracelsus Supra. Five Quicksilver, the five Moonstones. And there is our Paracelsus Luchus for tool time for the hand. Ten. 
points. We got a Disciple of the Hand, a Luchas tool. Look at us go. So that means I don't get to be a slaughterhouse anymore. I am now the Light in Hand. Wow, what a cool title. In case you were wondering, that's what it looks like. That's what an ARR crafting relic looks like. It's like a baby rattle. So yeah, that was that's pretty cool, I guess. So yeah, needless to say, it's a little bit tragic that there are no achievements for getting all of those crafting relics, but they're pathetically easy to get anyway, so eh, who cares. Now, I would get the, uh, the land tool as well, but I never finished any of my land job quests, so I don't have the first step to upgrade any of them into the relic. <laughs> And for some reason, Heavensward and Stormblood didn't actually have crafting relics. In fact, I think the closest equivalent was like, uh, these guys. So the ones for doing the crafting log achievements would give you the equivalent of your relic. And speaking of crafting log achievements, now would be a good time to talk about those. Now these ones kinda suck. So check this out, this is the Realm Reborn tier, which is 110 recipes for Alchemist. Not so bad, right? And then it scales up with each expansion, going up to 170, 270 for Heavensward, 370 for Stormblood, and then they stopped after Stormblood, they didn't add any more of these. But what's so annoying about them is that every job has a different number of recipes, and so some of them end up being a lot harder than others. For Culinarian, you only need to do 230 unique recipes. For Goldsmith, you need to do 730. So as as you can imagine, it kinda sucks. Now, mind you, crafting one of every single item in the crafting log for every single crafter is not particularly difficult, it's just tedious and annoying. Especially because it's gonna eat up all of your inventory space. But for posterity, I will now get to 110 recipes on Alchemist. Let's do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the guild associated with whatever job you're working on and try to get the first levels 1 through 20 done. Because usually you can finish everything on these pages with just the materials sold at the actual guild. So as you can see, my first unfinished recipe is the Ash Picatrix. Alright, and now we have everything for the Picatrix. I'm gonna go ahead and make it high quality just because uh, there's also achievements for that. And there you go, that's everything 1 through 15. But generally around level 20, the shops at the guild stop having everything that you need. So the next best thing is uh, hoping that the market board has a reasonably priced one that I can buy so that I don't have to go and gather it myself because I'm lazy. If you're not lazy, you can go gather all of these items. It'll just take you like three to four times longer to do the, uh, the crafting log because you're gonna spend more time gathering than you'll actually spend crafting. So I would recommend always being lazy. Too bad I just threw away all my quicksilver because I didn't think I would need any more. There's a shop that'll sell it like 10 feet away from where I'm standing, but then I'd have to leave the market board and I just don't feel like doing that. And usually these low level recipes, the final product is not going to be worth a whole lot. But as you get into the mid levels and the higher levels, you can actually craft things that are worth money and then you can potentially profit. So there's a potion of vitality, here comes a potion of strength, and a potion of mind. And that is every recipe from level 1 to 20. Now usually what I like to do while working on these is click this little uh, options button here and hide completed recipes. That way I only have to see the ones that I need to do still. And then we get these nice clean tabs for the pages where I've completed everything. And so with that done, I'm now 85 out of 110, which means I just need 25 more recipes. And just think, it's only gonna be 260 more after that. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I am now just six items away. I also happen to notice that I am just 12 orchestral rolls away from getting 200 pieces of music. And incidentally, Alchemist happens to be the job that makes all of the music. So let's go ahead and put some of these together. There's the Maker's Ruin, Primal Judgment, Fallen Angel, Under the Weight, Wreck to the Seaman, Through the Maelstrom, and could King Mogglemog the 12th. Uh, what? Why don't those count? Well, I guess, lucky me, I get all this new music, but that was underwhelming. I don't know why those don't count. Well, anyway, here's Hunger, and Blind to the Dark, Now I Know the Truth, Out of the Labyrinth, and Hubris. Yes, give me all of the music. I'm gonna make a sick mixtape. And that is the leader of the band, Six. Ten points. Nothing like 200 orchestra enrolls. And a long march home will make 201. Lucky me. Alright, let's take this from the top. Pretend that never happened. And at last... And there's I Made That, Alchemist 3. Ten. 
points. That is for crafting 110 unique alchemist recipes. Look, I get a cool ring. Reduced durability loss plus 10. Wow. So yeah, these crafting log achievements are annoying and they take forever, but uh, there's a, just a quick taste of them. And I couldn't help but notice that I'm actually kind of close to finishing all of the expansion alchemist achievements to a point where it wouldn't actually take that long to do if I could find cheap enough recipes to make. So I might look into that. Oh crap, I was so AFK that I missed the achievement. But uh, yeah, there's mixing it up, adept, for 10 points. That was 1,000 Heavensward Alchemy recipes. I spent a lot of money on this Dravanian mistletoe. Hopefully I can earn it back. Fortunately, I already had the spring water from uh, grinding mining achievements, so could have been worse. I guess next up is potentially Stormblood if I can find a cheap enough recipe, but I've got actually a perfect one in mind. So you see, here's the thing. After a Realm Reborn, you end up having no recipes that can be made with just one or two ingredients. Almost everything in the Stormblood alchemy list has four to five ingredients. It's a nightmare. Even the ones that just have a few, they're all hard to get. It becomes a massive chore, basically, to collect the things needed to actually do the crafting. But there is one workaround to that with a caveat. If I talk to the scrap salvager here, this lovely lady will sell me all of the materials to make all of the custom delivery items for the local custom delivery NPCs. And for Adkarag, he needs Ishgardian culinary materials, and in order to make those, you need raw Ishgardian materials, which cost 100 gil at this shop. Now I just need 471. Now for all of those, that was only 47 grand, which is extremely cheap for about 500 items. I do of course need the crisp. Crystals. It's gonna take a total of three crystals per craft, but here's the caveat. This is an extremely cheap way to get this achievement, and this works for all jobs, it's not just Alchemist. However, you can't quick synth these items. So if you want to save money, you gotta click a lot more. Now it's certainly not as chill as fully AFK crafting the other ones. But all I really have to do is line up my synthesize button with my basic synthesis and then just spam click this while I watch videos. We only have to do this 470 times and then I get an easy achievement. We'll be done within the hour. We are truly gaming. Yeah, this definitely took a little bit longer. Uh, almost an hour by my count, so it takes about twice as long. And there it is, mixing it up, veteran, for another 10 points. And that is, of course, synthesizing 1,000 times for level 61 to 70 alchemy recipes. Uh, right, so that's Stormblood done. Now we can move on to Shadowbringers, which I am actually even closer to. I kind of uh, lucked out by doing all of my custom deliveries on Alchemist, so that's where all of this progress actually came from. All right, we're wrapping up this grind. Um, yeah, this one's not so great. Since I can't make the components for the collectibles for this tier, I have to actually make the collectibles themselves, which means they aren't stackable. And so I have to manually throw them away every time my inventory fills up, which makes this a lot slower. It's still cheap, but it's kind of crossing over the line of not being worth it anymore. If I had to do more than 200, I probably would have just not done this. But there is mixing it up. Master. That's another 10 points. Yeah, this is rough. Uh, I, d I don't recommend doing collectibles for this, but it is worth mentioning. There's another achievement for synthesizing large amounts of collectibles, and these count toward that. So hypothetically, I only need about 600 more of these, and I could have another 10 points, but I'm not going to work on that one today. Anyways, the uh, only thing I've got left here now is 1,000 syntheses for Endwalker Alchemy. Uh, I need about 500 of these, and so if I want to craft an alchemist recipe, my best bet is going to be one that I can easily turn in for leave quest credit. So allegedly the commanding craftsman's drought. It's actually considered one of the best money-making leaves period right now. The other one is a culinarian one. That means if I buy the materials like a lazy person, every craft is going to cost me 2,800 gil, give or take. But as long as I make them high quality, I can turn them in for 10,000 gil. So it's pure profit. All right, I got tired of high qualitying these things after like two hours, and so I decided to just quick craft the rest of them. But I made enough HQs to at least get my money back. Why did I still not get the achievement? What? I don't think I know how to do math, guys. I don't, I don't think I math so good. And this world's out of kudzu. I needed to do my custom deliveries anyway, so I'll just make a couple extra and that should get me where I need to go. 
Hey, what do you know? Mixing it up. Genius. Uh, see? I'm a certified genius. The achievement says it right there. And that is, of course, 10 points for successfully synthesizing 1,000 times for level 81 to 90 alchemy recipes. All right, cool. That's done. And to be honest, I think we pretty much covered most of what my crafting achievement grind is going to be looking like. I gave you guys a pretty thorough example of uh, everything that I'm going to have to be doing still. A pretty thorough example indeed. After all that nonsense, I walked away with 10 achievements for a total of 115 points. Uh, this brought my LOL achievement score up to 15,470, and my world rank went from 173 to 175. The competition's heating up, I guess. Anyway, other than crafting, I spent the past weekly stream doing 20 runs of Delibrome with a bunch of cool chads on Twitch. And you should go follow the stream if you want to be one of said chads. That's all I've got for now, though, so I'm gonna get back to clogging my inventory with useless crafts. One liking was one craft. Okay, bye.